Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. What can I get for Sagittarius, please? What is the love intuitive advice? What is the love intuitive message for the Sag? All right. Happy birthday to you, Sagittarius, if you're celebrating your birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming here. Thanks for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because you'll find in there the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store, the Setting Manifestation Candles. They are available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading for me. So have a look at it. Type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your private reading. All right? So this is for you, Sag. There's going to be an extended of this reading. There's a jumper. Oh, wow. There's going to be an extended of this reading if you would like to pick up further message, further intuitive message about your person. Um, the link to access the extended reading is down the description box below. Okay, so in today's reading, we will be looking at the past situation, the current energy, your energy, your person's energy, and um, the predictive outcome and advice. Okay, so let's start your reading. So, um... In the past energy, past situation, you've got the two of swords in upright position. You're dealing with someone or you are in a situation where it is hard to define. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty. I also get a message and a feeling of someone is... Um, sorry, I'm just going to move this here. Someone is, you know, um, playing playing it safe or um, someone is really sitting in an energy of I cannot decide, blindsided, acting, acting blind, acting like they cannot decide, acting out, okay? It could be you, it could be your person, but look at those hands. It's really so uptight and it's close to the heart. So you're dealing with a person or a situation in the past where they're acting like they could not decide. They're acting like they're blindsided or something to do with an indecision making. They're acting like they could not decide, but actually it's so easy. Everything around this person or your situation, the answer is in there. The moon, the feelings is there to support your feelings. You know, the moon represents feelings. So there is feelings in there. Uh, the background is water, so there's overflowing happiness, emotions, and feelings. And yet, this person or yourself is pretending like, I cannot decide. But actually, they can. So, yeah, Ten of Wands, the next card. So, it is quite scary. It, it is a scary thing or to be involved into someone you love so much, you like so much. But they're not willing to fight for you. They're not willing to put it right. They're not willing to support their feelings to you. Okay? The next card in the past position is the Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Ten and Ten. So, you know, after all of those happy moments, good times, good things between the two of you, um, they still, Two of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, they have unloaded you or you have unloaded them. Someone gave up for some of you guys. There was a lot of, I honestly feel like there was a lot of happiness, Ten of Cups. There was a lot of happiness, a lot of good stuff together. It, it is almost like, it's it was difficult like this, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Because I feel like Sagittarius, you are like, yep, it is quite complicated. It is a struggle, but you make me happy, okay? But again, what happened was that one person was weak. The happiness card, it was so strong, but the other person is still not able to decide or pretending like this Ten of Cups. This was in upright position in the past, you know. Um, like what I'm getting in here, Sagittarius, is a feeling of what else could have, 
you know, what else would you give to this relationship connection? It seems to be have given it all. And yet your person, your situation still is in a two of swords in decision making. So you're feeling like the past energy. What else have I not done to receive my ten of cups or to keep my ten of cups? Because at some point you felt this ten of cups. I want my ten of cups. But your person could not deliver it to you. There was a ten of cups. There was happiness. But it's not stable. And someone unload that. Someone, someone was not decided on that. And you're questioning that. For some of you, I'm really getting like, you're blindsided. Because the happiness you felt towards this person, you thought it was a mirror. You thought they felt the same. But because of this paramount happiness that your person will stay, will fight for you. But they have unloaded you. Someone unloaded someone. In spite of the happiness, the feelings, a person is still in a two of swords, cannot decide and unloaded. Um, yeah, it, 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 wasn't, it was not the direction you want it to be. That your person gave up on you or they have unloaded you. Um, it, you're not happy about this, alright? You want something long term. This is a jumper card. You want something long term with this person. But you're dealing with a person who has a lot of monster, a lot of baggages. For some of you, you're dealing with a person. They have like an ex-husband, ex-wife that is pulling them. To, there's a compromise like you're dealing with a person who is very passionate but very problematic you know you you want to go full term with your person but look at your one your one is in your head you're thinking i want to give it all because i'm happy with you but your person in spite of the happiness you shared together they are not like you the king of wands you know some people can be like that they're completely happy with you, but they wouldn't manage to stay. Their, their, their happiness is limited or um, not strong as you. Because in here, Sagittarius, you come across the term mean, like this is you. You look at your passion. No, look at that. You look so serious. You are my happiness. I'm passionate about you. So I'm willing to give it all. Your person, they have the same happiness, but they're not willing to give it all. In fact, for some of you, you still have not received closure with your person. Two of swords. In the current energy, you've got the seven of cups. You're feeling confused. Again, this reading today, it seems to be all about the feelings. You know, how to overcome the feelings that you have that in spite of you know, in spite of those great things, great moments, passion, laughter, you still could not manage to get this person on your side. Secure them. Seven of Cups. Your person's energy is King of Cups. They're denying you with love. Okay. You're dealing with a person who... Who's denying you with love. Yeah. It could be this person is upset with you, but... It's a person who's very stingy. It's a person who choose not to love you. I don't know what was the uh, the shared, what was the block, but your person is coming strong. I'm choosing not to love you. I'm denying you with love. And it's so painful because you felt that Ten of Cups. There was a Ten of Cups moment in here. And they deny you love. It's, this person is in denial of what they feel towards you. That's why they deny you. Two of swords. This is them. They sit here. No, I'm not in love with Sagittarius. No, I don't want to love Sagittarius. I'm going to use my head. I don't want to fall in love with Sagittarius. I'm only happy with the Ten of Cups. That's true. That's real. But no, I'll put a limit in there. I'm, gonna, I'm going to deny Sagittarius of my love. High Priestess, both of you are using your instinct, your intuition. You are 
in the current energy. In spite of my feelings towards you, this is your energy, Sagittarius, in the current energy, in, in spite of your feelings towards your person, you are aware that you will no longer put more expectation or investment if your person could not reciprocate, reciprocate it. Like, you know, look at the high priestess. You've learned your lesson. Giving it all does not mean you would you would secure, you would be able to, you know, convince them to stay. Um, there's a great power learning in the current energy. Given that the high priestess is the connecting energy in here, um, your person, your person is... In, in the surface, they're using their intuition in, in a lame, in a lame way. Because deep inside, your person is this. Deep inside, your person is a king of cups. But they do not acknowledge that. You know, the high priestess connecting to your person's energy, it is quite sad. Because they have a feeling for you. But they deny that feeling. The intuition of your person is extremely, you know, screaming on the top of their head and talking to their logic, two of swords, and saying, you love Sagittarius, but your person is allowing the brain to take over. So your person is really, really denying you with love. I don't know what sort of blockages you have created with one another. It could be it coming it, it could be coming from pain, but it's in denial of what they feel towards you. Because they even fight for their instinct. Their instinct is telling them that you're not real. You're not being real to yourself, but they keep denying it. You are in a different scenario. Your energy in the current in the current in this week and you know in the recent past, seven of cups. You are aware that you felt the rainbow and butterfly towards this person, but you wouldn't be persuaded of the Ten of Cups or the rainbow and butterfly moments connection. You want some more than this. You want more stability. You won't go further with your person until they, they show you this King of Cups. Your person is acting fake. They're faking it. High Priestess, the King of God. It's so fake. It's so fake. It is sad because your person is really pulling away and thinking of the negative stuff that you and them did with one another. But that negative stuff, you cannot deny that. There's also good stuff. Ten of Wands, you know, this is the past. You know, yes, it's complicated. You know, the situation you have, it is complicated. But yet, this complicated energy give you this absolute happiness. And you're willing, you Sagittarius, you're willing to have complication if you will have your Ten of Cups. This is you. This is you thinking. If there's 1%, look at the one. If there is freaking one percent i could get my ten of cups with you so be it let it be complicated because i want this ten of cups your person is not as brave as you are okay you're dealing with a person who's weak who's coward they're not like you um in the predictive outcome and advice, in the immediate future, the devil card in reverse, there's some sort of progress in the nearest future. The toxic between the two of you, it's going to be gone. It's going to be shaken off. It will improve. It will be okay. Um, the lying, the betrayal, um, if you let it be, because this is you. In the current energy, you won't make any move. You will let them wonder. You have already informed your person of what you can offer, what you want, and you stop right there. In the current energy, your person is like, I don't think I can offer you that. I'm denying you with love. 
and so it produce a distance and in the immediate future this actually will do you good because the more your person rejects you ignore you resent you um the more they feel like disconnected the more the toxic between the two of you is gone i know it doesn't make sense but like when you stop talking you also stop sharing because right now in the current energy what's left of you and this person is the negative vibe what's connecting you you know you haven't healed what what's connecting you it's the negative vibe but as soon as you disconnect you don't talk to one another you actually heal you heal toxic is gone all of whatever stuff lies betrayal it it's it start it has come out now it's starting to heal actually the last card the outcome is a commitment one which means that one of you in the future will reach out and since the toxic what i see in here sagittarius from current to the immediate future is that it will take a bit of five five weeks to five months for you guys to heal to forgive to forget there would be times that you would still have communication but it will take a bit of time for you to heal forget forgive and it's okay because remember how complicated it is okay the complication is not coming from you it is coming from your person the more you don't talk the more you stop sending verbal i don't know abusive or not so good messages the, the more you stop expecting the more you explore your own the more you do yourself sagittarius the more your person is distant with you the more you guys forget about the negative energy in the immediate future i see you guys connecting again okay and this time around it is a commitment standard okay um your person will learn their lesson denying love toxic is gone when those negative energy is gone negative feeling is gone one thing is for sure a commitment is born okay um there's it's gonna be a long process between now the current energy and in the immediate future if you just let them wander let it be if you allow more space between the two of you you will heal you will forget you will forgive i see a commitment is born it's not gonna be easy but the next time around that you and this person try again call again initiate again a love romantic connection it is a commitment because you've all you've already surpassed all the hate the, the negative vibe it's it's gonna have a beautiful outcome okay um it's just right now it is quite complicated not on your end your person's end because they are in the denying stage so i'd suggest to leave them be explore enjoy your life because you know i see this commitment close to them i see them realizing being distance with you not expecting anything from you you being out of their life this is where the commitment is born because this is the this is they will realize how important you are nothing can match you okay you know what i'm really getting in here is that there was complicated it, it is complicated probably to love you to understand you sagittarius but man what you offer is a ten of cups look at that this was in reverse because you're already separated but at some point in the past this was an upright position you know it is complicated to love you it's difficult to be together but man you produce a ten of cups you're incomparable that's why in the immediate future sagittarius what you offer towards your person is something they cannot find a match remember that so let them wonder let them explore this will give them time to compare when they compare they will find out it will not match what they can get from you. And that is where the commitment is born. Okay? Thank you, Sagittarius, for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope you like the reading. And um, I'll see you soon again, guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.